Hi, my name is Isaiah. I'm a 11th grader here at CODCA. I like programming and I'm also very interested in the visual arts pathway. I chose information technology, IT for short, and this is really mainly focusing on programming languages such as C-sharp, Python, Java, and they also even have some fun classes like game design, which I took in my freshman year. And so far, I've really stuck with game design and I've been learning a lot of C-sharp in my free time. Lots of in-depth learning with coding, and I've fallen in love with all the courses that they have to provide here. It's definitely been something that I just wanted to use to improve my future and to improve my foundation on whenever I move out of high school so that way I can have an easier transition to adulthood. My favorite classes that I have would definitely be inside Game Design 1 and 2. Those have been the classes that sparked an interest inside C Sharp coding and it also taught me uh, a little bit about 3D modeling, so I, I got into that a little bit on my free time as well. Another one for my visual arts would be Photoshop. Adobe in general, a big eye-opener for me, but Photoshop is where it all started, and that's when I got into Premiere Pro and After Effects and all these other programs that Adobe provides, is just because the school did a really good job inspiring me. With Adobe Photoshop, they allow you to have pixel art, and I was able to transfer those into sprites, is what they're called and I was actually able to incorporate that into my coding and I was able to make characters and items and floors and it was all using the skills that I learned from Adobe Photoshop that I was also able to incorporate into my C Sharp program. The, the Adobe Photoshop exam that I want to take for my certification, it seems like it's just a, a test that I really have to study hard for and then pass that and I believe I receive it right then and there. Same thing with my, my SOLIDWORKS, I can add these certifications as my resume. So if I want to land a visual arts job and become an artist, I can go ahead and put that I'm verified and certified inside Adobe Photoshop and that can really show that I'm capable of being a worker. Even in terms of SOLIDWORKS, I can show that I know modeling, circuitry, have dimensions, how to construct, how to build. That can definitely show that you're a lot more capable and you're able to get into the, the workforce a lot sooner. So once I get all those certifications and I'm out of high school, I plan on going straight to the workforce first as I want to build up a source of experience with my, with my job and my career. I want to have stuff that I can put on my resume. And using that, I'm going to go ahead and move over to a bigger company that is actually going to pay for my college degree. Once I, I, I complete everything from my community college, I plan on going over to CTU, Colorado Tech University, where they contain Fast Track. It's a program where they allow the student to go ahead and use whatever experience they contain from whatever previous college or courses, and they actually cut off time of their degree. And then from there, I want to decide if I want to make a business of my own, or if I want to go ahead and join a bigger company of whatever interest I really want to pursue. I believe my favorite thing about online school is the flexibility given to you. I can go ahead and take my courses at my own pace. I can enter my, my classes whenever I, I feel like I really need the assistance. And in general, my timing is, is just very, it's personable. I can, everything is just very personalized and I, I love it for that. If I want to take courses in the morning, I can. If I want to take a course or two a day before, I can. If I want to just hold it off because I may have work or family in the morning and I can just wait until later in the day, I can. And it's, it's nice to have this freedom. And the courses are, are, are for me. I get to choose them. I get to really be engaged with what I want to learn. It's very customizable to how I want my high school experience to be. And then I, I feel more efficient, I feel less distracted, and I feel like I can take care of my work a little smoother. And when it comes to this type of pathway, you really have to take the time to study and you have to do lots of trial and error. It's something that just kind of comes with this path and I had some frustrations and I didn't want to do that anymore. But then I, I, I had to learn organization and organization has made my life so much easier. I've learned how to format things correctly. I've learned how to keep my, my coding safe and, and completely organized so that way I don't have any bugs anymore. And in general, it's just taught me how to, to keep clean.
Being moved into a virtual school, it felt like it was a completely new environment. For some students, it may be a heavy transition, and I feel like you definitely have to just feel adaptable. You know, whether it's I'm in uh, a car or working downstairs or upstairs, wherever it is, I can be in any environment and I feel comfortable working there. The career learning program gave me an insight on adulthood. I was a little confused on what I wanted to do originally in terms of my big future, and now I feel very confident after taking all these IT courses. I really do feel rock solid in terms of what I want to have my future be. If you're really striving for a career, this school does an amazing job. I've been very inspired in what I wanted to do. They've opened up tons of doors for interests related to what I wanted to do, and in general, if you're career ready, you're gonna get the most out of it. They're gonna get you ready. There's dual enrollment classes, there's AP courses. It's something that's just very driven by the student and what they wanna pursue. 